Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our lesson for today is about farm tools, implements, and simple equipment. Farm tools, implements, and equipment play a very important role in horticultural operations. Their presence makes the work much easier and faster. However, even if one may have the most sophisticated tools and implements, if he does not know how to use them, they are useless. In order to do horticultural operations successfully, one must have a good working knowledge of the tools, implements, and equipment before using them. Hand tools. Hand tools are usually light and are used without the help of animals or machines. They are used in performing farm activities that involve small areas like school garden and home garden. 1. Bolo is used for cutting grasses and weeds, loosening and pulverizing the soil, digging small holes for planting, post-construction, and breaking the topsoil in preparing garden plots if no other tools are available. 2. Crowbar is used for digging big holes and for digging out big stones and stumps. 3. Thick mattock is used for digging canals, breaking hard topsoil, and digging up stones and tree stumps. 4. Grub hoe is used for breaking hard topsoil and pulverizing soil. 5. Spade is used for removing trash or soil, digging canals or ditches, and mixing soil media. 6. Shovel is used for removing trash, digging loose soil, and moving soil from one place to another and for mixing soil media. 7. Rake is used for cleaning the ground and leveling the topsoil. 8. Spading fork is used for loosening the soil, digging out root crops, and turning over the materials in a compost heap. 9. Light hoe is used for loosening and leveling soil and digging out furrows for planting. 10. Hand trowel is used for loosening the soil around the growing plants and putting small amounts of manure in the soil. 11. Hand cultivator is used for cultivating the garden plot by loosening the soil and removing young weeds around the plant. 12. Hand fork is used for inter-row cultivation. 13. Pruning shears is used for cutting branches of planting materials and unnecessary branches of plants. 14. Axe is used for cutting bigger post. 15. Knife is used for cutting planting materials and for performing other operations in horticulture. Farm implements. Farm implements are accessories pulled by working animals or mounted to machineries that are usually used in the preparation of wide land. They are usually made of a special kind of metal. Examples 1. Plows. They refer to farm implements used in horticultural operations, either pulled by a working animal or a tractor. The plow is specifically used for tilling large areas, making furrows, and for inter-row cultivation. Plows pulled by working animals are made of either a combination of metal or wood or pure metal. They are used to till areas with a shallower depth than that of the disc plows which are pulled by tractors. 2. Harrow the native wooden harrow is made of wood with metal teeth and pulled by a carabao while the disc harrow is a metal mounted to a tractor. Harrows are used for tilling and pulverizing the soil. 3. Rotivator. The rotivator is an implement mounted to a tractor used for tilling and pulverizing the soil.
Farm equipment. Farm equipment is machineries used in horticultural operations, especially in vegetable production. They are used in land preparation and in transporting farm inputs and products. To use these machineries, highly skilled operators are needed. 1. Hand tractor is used to pull a plow and harrow in preparing a large area of land. 2. Four-wheel tractors are used to pull disc plow and disc harrow in preparing a much bigger area of land. 3. Water pumps are used to draw irrigation water from a source. Other materials, tools, and equipment. 1. Water pails are used for hauling water, manure, and fertilizers. 2. Sprinklers are used for watering seedlings and young plants. 3. Wheelbarrow is used for hauling trash, manures, fertilizers, planting materials, and other equipment. 4. Sprayers are used for spraying insecticides, foliar fertilizers, fungicides, and herbicides. It was mentioned earlier that tools, implements, and equipment facilitate work conveniently, but a user must bear in mind that knowledge on the use of these tools leads to a safe and successful endeavor. Before using any of the tools, implements, and equipment, it is important to always check whether or not they are still usable or serviceable. It is also a good practice to always check with or refer to the manual of operations as prescribed by the manufacturer. The assistance of a skilled operator should also be sought whenever necessary. Tools that are defective should be segregated and be fixed immediately to avoid accident. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you learned something for today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be updated of my latest videos. Shoutouts to all my subscribers. Please stay connected and stay safe. Please subscribe also to my other YouTube channel, Sir Land's Vlog. See you in my next videos. God bless you all. Silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step